number of school districts in the Golden Triangle area have recently switched to a modified school year. Now summer may look a little different for those students and teachers. WTVA's Chris Knowles is live in Starkville with more on the new school calendar. Yeah, right now I'm at the Henderson Ward Stewart Elementary School here in Starkville. Today was the last day for students here. Now, this school district recently switched to a non-traditional calendar. You know, many say it's a year-round school year, but they want it to be known that it's not a year-round school year, but it's a modified school year. The Starkville Octiba High School District is adjusting to a new modified school year. This means students will go to school for nine weeks and be out for two weeks. Now. Not only that, but summer times are a bit different, but not by much. Over the summer, students are out for six weeks. During those weeks, the school will offer two weeks of enrichment camps. I talked to the coordinator of the camps to see what would summertime look, for, look like for these students. Our camps are enriching their learning, so students could come to accelerate their learning, to enrich their learning. Um, camps are important to get them out of the house and do something fun that they don't even realize that they're learning. The camps are optional for students, those who choose to be in these camps will get four to five weeks after the summer break. Now other school districts in the area are getting ready to start the new modified school year. Some are considering starting in the other surrounding districts. Here in Starkville, Chris Dahls, WTVA 9 News.